I'm always trying to do things different. Like there's a lot to remember and it goes this fast. We have a lot of history in this room. We're really getting to see a goat in action. What's going on, Chef Dev back here at TSC, today's shopping choice. I definitely want to give you guys a little bit of a glimpse into what a day is like over here. It's a lot of hustle, it's a lot of prep, a lot of setting up, and then it's a lot of this. We need to convince the person on the other end of that screen to buy what we're selling. And of course, yes, I'm here with Smeg Appliances. Let me take you inside and show you how this goes down. It's hard. That's 8 a.m., then 11 a.m. is the next meal. So first meal, meal one, 8 a.m. is what I told you. Or mm -hmm. the alternate is that oatmeal shake that I told you. Then meal two, 11 a.m., which is this. Meal three, 2 p.m., which is this. Meal three, 2 p.m. Meal four, 3 p.m., which is the way I slit. Two mm -hmm. scoops, rice cakes, and then the peanut butter, almond butter, or I just have the protein bar. Okay. But like eating that third meal, and then an hour later dummying a protein yeah. bar is like, this is ridiculous. Then you get fucking shredded. The brown Arnold or what? No, no, no. Sure. <laughs> no, I don't know if uh, I just want to be. I just want to be cut. Nice six pack. No doubt. You know, I've been eating pizza for so long. It's fun. Six pack will open some new doors for you too. I think so. I think so. I speak from experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as we're walking in here, on our right is the control room where we get mic'd up, all that good stuff you can't see in there right now. So here are the cameras, I'm right here. This is our, no, I'm kidding. I'm over here on this side. So you see all the Smeg appliances are here. We have our kettles, we have the espresso machine, different toasters, citrus juicer, the wok, clear glass bowl on the stand mixer. That's really, really exciting today. But look at the colors. I've been doing Smeg now, uh, working with them for maybe about five years. And this could be my 50th, uh, probably well over 50 one hour segments now. So this is what we have to do. We have to come in here, make sure everything's working properly and set up all the food for the demonstration. So that's what Chef Imran and I are doing here today. It's a lot of work to refresh this and get it ready. And then uh, as the segment starts, we're gonna show you a glimpse of what it looks like while this thing is live. So that was a look at the studio and what it looks like. I gotta show you, this is really exciting. I don't often get to use the green room, but let's go see what the green room looks like. My favorite, can't eat these right now, on a nutrition plan. I got another five months to go, but I can stare at it, I can hold it. Check this out though. Introducing Jones Room. This is the best green room in the building, reserved for yours truly, Chef Dev of Smeg. Let's take a look what it looks like inside. So Joan Rivers, obviously an absolute legend in the game. We have a lot of history in this room. Check out these photos from Joan across her career. This, uh, this green room is reserved for very special guests, guest experts and hosts. Somehow they put me in here. Every time I get to come into this green room, I get reminded of all the legacy and all the history that's going on. Um, I have a computer, I have a kettle. It's not a smeg kettle, so I don't use it. We have a steamer and a fan, TV, internet. That looks like a VCR, I'm not sure. That's a cable box, that's a cable box. We have a fridge down here, so I can come in here, do my makeup. Uh, I think I've taken a nap on this couch before. Of course, I take my shoes off, but this is the Joan Rivers green room, and uh, pretty blessed to be in here. Uh, I'm just gonna run on set and grab the uh, shaker to make your espresso martini, chef. Well, then let's load fully. Cool. See, it's not just about going on there and cooking. It's about wattages and knowing the history of this brand and being able to do this seamlessly and organically, talking to the camera the whole time. Like when I film City Line, I'm staring at Tracy the whole time. And I'm having a conversation with the host, but here I'm not to look at the host. I'm to look into the lens. One of the three cameras that's going in my earpiece, the producer will tell me Devin camera two, camera one. So I know where I am. Uh, they'll inform me of inventory and stuff like that. But uh, it's a lot different from a lot of the other other jobs like this. This takes a lot more concentration. Uh, this takes a lot more know-how. I mean, the first episode that I did, I thought it was a train wreck, but apparently it was pretty good. But now that I've done dozens of shows, it's getting a lot better. 
Uh, but it's a lot. Like for example, like on the four slot toaster, right? We have self-centering racks and automatic pop-up and like removable crumb trays. We have a specific amount of wattage. We have a built-in cord wrap, polished chrome base. We have uh, anti-slip feet. We have six browning levels. We have three modes, bagel, defrost, reheat. You know, all these things. Uh, we need extra white slots. You know, all these things you need to have off the top so that while you're cooking and you're demonstrating a bagels and lox or a PB&J sandwich, having all these things, you can weave it into your messaging. Clean and fun and personable and charming, right? So it's a lot different from a lot of the other cooking gigs that I do. It's a lot more than just coming here and cooking. Oh, I need to get mic'd up in 10 minutes or so. Yeah. All right, cool. What's happening? Just dishwasher at the end of the day. Yo, what's going on? Chef Imran here today at the shopping channel with Chef Dev, helping him get ready for a beautiful set of back-to-back -back shooting today, focusing on Smeg appliance range, focusing on some really cool gear, and it's nice to see Dev work up close in action. So to demo the citrus juicer out there on set, um, mojitos, lemon drop martinis, juicing oranges juicing limes, blood orange, grapefruit. It's all amazing. But what's also amazing is I'm making ceviche with leche de tigre. Good job, bro. But like, I mean, it's gonna pop a lot on the camera. Then run the pink again. I should, I think. Yeah, I think, or the Guyana. Ooh, definitely hit the Guyana. Guyana? Guyana. Yeah, represent. Second show of three for the day. Obviously wearing the Guyana apron, my favorite apron. And uh, let's go get mic'd up. Just do a quick run through of everything. Make sure. Yeah, sure. Oh, we're missing a cup with tea. You I want another one? Yeah, I did the green, but I need a regular cup. Okay. Because the green tea's there, so I need an orange. I think it's a chai bag. Okay. Okay, let me just do it with you now. So that's there. Shaker can come to the citrus. Basically. Yeah, I'm gonna use it right now. Understood. Yep. Uh, this goes to the back. Yep. Because I build it, and then the pesto should be back there. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, juice. Did you build this, or do you want me to put it together now? Uh, no. I build it now, actually, because it took me a few seconds on the camera. Uh, orange is there. Coffee grinder. This is great. Um, we can brew coffee. It's 11:33. Mm, yeah, I could. This is a little bit cluttered. Uh, what do you think? Should I leave the wood? Maybe leave the wood. I like the wood, man. Understood. I, yeah. Citrus juicer, ceviche. That gets the greens. Greens go to the back, please. Yes, sir. Because it's garnish. Um, butter chicken go to the back. I reveal it. <laughs> hey, is you the bartender? <laughs> I look here for a drink, buddy. <laughs> Donuts, can't eat those. Hey, so we're getting mic'd up right now. Two different mics. One's the IFB which is in my ear over here. So I can hear the producer. I can hear uh, the host with me and everything that's going on. And then there's an actual mic here, uh, another receiver so that it picks up my actual voice. So two different things going on here. Your piece good to go. Let me give you a little walkthrough of how this is gonna go down. So the segment's gonna start over here. I'll be working through the kettles, I'm gonna build out a couscous. I'm always trying to do things different. Like I'm not just here to pour cups of tea. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. Instant noodles, potentially you're living in a dorm, university, things like that. All while I'm doing this, I'm talking about the features like the 1500 watts, you know, the soft top open lid, removable lime scale filter, polished chrome base, 360 swivel, built in cord wrap, 1500 watts of power, probably said that already, uh, you know, 0.7 liter capacity, seven cup capacity in there as well. So lots to talk about as I roll through. We have our two slot toaster, the long slot, great for longer pieces of bread. We have six different power levels, stainless steel ball lever knob is here. Again, polished chrome base, removable crumb trays on this unit as well. Everything for me ties back to that made in Italy excellence, that 1950s retro style design. I love working with Smeg. This is not a paid promotion for Smeg, but I've been doing it for about five years. So I actually really believe in the product. Citrus juicer, that ceviche that we were prepping earlier, gonna be doing a lemon drop martini with the shaker club. We have a beautiful espresso martini here, our coffee grinder, our coffee machine. We have our hand blender. You know I gotta throw in the chef dev butter chicken sauce. So we're gonna blend this up, do a little bit of a butter chicken inspired dish here. This is a really cool item. Here's the stand mixer, two and a half liter bowl, 600 watt motor. 
10 speeds, including the smooth star function. This is a great unit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the dough hook to make some pizza dough. Here we have some pizza on display, beautifully garnished, ready to go. And then we're also gonna use a, a different bowl and uh, do a whipped cream of Chantilly, which is a whipped cream with powdered sugar and vanilla. Mise en place is here. Finally, for the end of the segment, the last thing, we we're talking about the wok. This is cold forged aluminum, patented disc on the bottom, even heat distribution, stainless steel, riveted handles, into the oven up to 482 Fahrenheit. So with the wok I'm talking about, I'm doing reveals, right? So how we can do popcorn. Um, check out this beautiful Shanghai noodles that we're making. And then I'll do live demo of fried rice, egg fried rice, egg and mushroom with sesame oil. So that's a little bit of a run through down here. We have additional units. You can see the colors that are available. We have our hand mixer, which I'm doing cake over here. Uh, we have our toasters and citrus juicer, espresso machines and uh, stand mixers. So that's pretty much a run through. I guess the next clip, you're probably gonna see me in action in here and uh, catch me on the screen. So it's a little bit nerve wracking. There's a lot of lights. There's a lot to remember and it goes this fast with the timer running all the time. So. You know, I learn every single time and I'm looking forward to getting it going. All right. Kill it, man. Thank you, Chef. She's done the chairs and I know that Chef Dev is joining me in this hour. He's gonna go through everything. This is a great item that you can use to pour a cup of tea, which I can do for you right now. The most about this is I can put water in the bread inside the mushrooms. All of this can be done. We can do dim some in here, lots of steam. And your aromatics, you can go right into the oven to disc, which allows for even heat distribution. This is a stainless steel riveted handle that I'm using. That is a wrap. Segment two of three is done. I hope you enjoyed this kind of day in the life of Chef Dev, but that's basically the experience that it is here working with Smeg at today's shopping choice. Tomorrow's another day. Yesterday was something different. I'm super grateful for the dynamic workflow that I have. I'm tired. We started at 5 a.m. and uh, in a few hours, we'll have our third and final show of the day. But when the camera's rolling, I gotta bring it. Mad love.